Former Cultural Affairs Minister T.B. Eknaika was summoned to the Police Financial Crimes Investigations Division today. Chaturanga Hapuarachi reports. Now this is the first time that the former minister was brought in for questioning at the Police Financial Crimes Investigation Division with regard to this misuse or rather a cap being given to the viharayas to be used during a certain time frame. Now with regard to this particular case, the Police Financial Crimes Investigation Division has been able to question several members working at the Cultural Fund as well as five drivers of the minister in previous occasions. A part of Chatham Street in Colombo has also been shut down opposite the Police Financial Crimes Investigation Division because the former minister was brought in here for questioning. I did not have any of these cultural funds. You know that recently a relic of Lord Buddha was discovered at the Nila Giri Viharia. Several relics were brought to the Madanwala Rajama Viharia in our village and as the minister at the time, I provided my official vehicle to transport the relics. So then I should be summoned too for providing a vehicle for Lord Buddha. This is filth. It is ugly political victimization. When he held the ministerial portfolio, there was no problem at all. He just stepped out as part of the gang of 16 and started acting separately. And now they are chasing after him. They are trying to enforce a police state. I must say that this political vengeance will not end until this government is sent home. We have come to the headquarters of the UNP, also known as the FCID. This is the Prime Minister's main office. This is the place where all those who speak against the Prime Minister and the UNP are hunted. If you speak against Ranil Vikramasinghe tomorrow, the day after you will receive a letter summoning you to this institution to provide a statement. The biggest robbery happened in the central bank that was under the Prime Minister. The chief suspect of the case is in Singapore. The government has a moral right to bring the suspect back into the country. What is the government doing about it? They have handed this over to the police and they are just watching. After being questioned for several hours within the police FCID, the former minister came out and had this to say to the media. The ninth paragraph of the constitution says that Buddhism should be protected and developed. If someone sees it as a mistake when the subject minister does it, there is a big question about the future of the country. Two and a half years went by in the government and there were no issues. There was an alms giving held at Temple Trees. There were thousands of monks who were brought from rural areas of the country. Did they not use vehicles to bring them? 